What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janos, creator of Pinot Tech Dad. And today we have a laptop here finally on my channel. Well, this is actually the first one for my new channel. I've actually had a few laptop reviews in my older channel, which got hacked. So if you've been subscribed to me since the first channel, then you know that I actually review laptops. Anyway, what we have here is the Asus Zephyrus G15. And I'm going to be showing you a quick unboxing after this intro. So as you can see here, let me just slightly tilt this so you can see. So this one came from ASUS ROG family here in the Philippines. So thank you so much ASUS for sending me this review unit. So it says here, hi Janus, have fun and stay safe. Love from your ROG family. Thank you so much. And let's remove that. So this is just going to be a very quick unboxing video where I show you the laptop itself. But we're going to be doing a separate video for the full review. So let's go ahead and open this. It's quite big actually. So I actually had to adjust my table orientation here. So here we go. Brand new and sealed. So first off, we have a backpack. So this is the backpack that's included. So it has an ROG logo right there on its strap and another one on its front panel. So here's the model for the backpack. If you guys can see that. So let's put that back inside so we actually have the real laptop here oh, oh all right so here we go let's open this box there you go and just like other rog laptops this will raise up here's the laptop but before that let's see what else is inside of the package so we have here probably the document sleeve all right so i'm correct so we have the manuals here and other documentations and then so we have the power plug here so we have all the cables here and the main charging brick actually this one is the main charging brick so it's big and as expected actually we do have a free mouse included so this one is the strix impact and yeah this is the strix impact mouse it's quite clicky and that's it. That's what you'll get in this package. All right, so let's finally remove the plastic here. So this is the laptop in all of its glory. I'm sorry it wasn't the top-notch unboxing experience that I wanted it to be. I actually had a hard time unboxing it because it was too cramped on my table. But anyway, before I actually give you my first impressions, do stick around till the end of the video because I'll be announcing my giveaway winners. So if you joined any of my giveaways, especially for the bounce back sale for the Zada, stay till the end of the video. Now back to the laptop. This is the Asus ROG Zephyrus G, G15 to be exact. And I'm very excited for this because AMD promised that this would have 100% boost in performance. Now, this year's code name for their processors is called the Renoir line. And last year they had Picasso. I've actually been using this laptop for two days now, and I'm quite happy with its performance. So I've played a few Dota 2 games, Apex Legends, and Project Cars 2 as well. And I've maxed out all of their graphical settings. Well, for Dota 2, of course, it's an easy game to max out, but yeah, Apex Legends and Project Cars 2, I was able to max them out. And I'll be trying a lot more games in my full review. But for now, these are just my initial impressions. Now, looks-wise and design-wise, it looks a lot like last year's G15 model. But the biggest change that I've observed is its display. So what we have here is the 240Hz display model. And another thing with the Zephyrus G from 2019, I mean, the display color reproduction wasn't so good. So I actually mentioned in my review of the Zephyrus G from last year that if you wanted a color-accurate display, that was not the laptop to get. But this year, you actually have a Pantone certification. So you can rest assured that this comes out of the box already color calibrated images look really good and motion is super fluid because of its 240 hertz screen refresh rate and it also has adaptive sync so yeah instead of g-sync 
you have adaptive sync which works almost the same i actually missed playing on a display like this because as i mentioned last year i was able to review a lot of asus rog laptops with high refresh rates and i haven't had any laptop like those ever since the start of this year so when i saw the 240 hertz screen refresh rate in action i was blown away again i mean i have a 165 hertz monitor but i don't know stepping up to 240 hertz seems like and feels like it's a new thing i don't know it must be a placebo effect but that's what i actually felt when i played dota 2 and apex legends on this it makes me want to have a 240 hertz screen refresh rate as well on my monitor when it comes to youtube videos of course the videos are very color accurate they're punchy they're lively they're not overly saturated i mean i really like the color reproduction in this So one more thing that surprised me with this is that it came with a one terabyte NVMe SSD storage. And that was really surprising for me because I was expecting just, you know, something like 500 gigabytes of SSD at most. And take note, guys, this is not just some random SSD. This is actually a high quality SSD. So it comes from Intel and its performance is really great. It does come with NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 2060 Max-Q graphics processor. So that means you can play most of the modern games without any issues. Of course, this is no 2070 or 2080 Max-Q, but you'll still be able to play games at high or very high settings. Just don't expect to get ultra settings all the time. But of course, I'll be testing that and I'll make sure that you'll be able to enjoy all of your favorite games on this. Also, for those content creators who want to know if they can edit videos on this, I'm going to be testing that here as well. Now for heating issues, well, it's really hot here in the Philippines and I don't have any air conditioning where I am right now. So this is where I've been testing the Zephyrus G 2020. So yeah, it does get a little hot without the help of any coolers. So if you're using this for gaming for prolonged periods, you will definitely feel the heat on this. Oh yeah, before I forget, of course, I'm going to tell you all about the ports that it comes with. On the left side, you'll find the power input. You have an Ethernet port, HDMI port, a USB port, and a USB Type-C port. And this can also work as a display port 1.4. And this has power delivery, so you can use this for charging. On the right side, you have two additional USB-A ports. And of course, you have the Kensington lock, which comes in standard for most Zephyrus laptops. On the back side, you'll see it has two huge grills, and that's the exhaust. And you also have an additional exhaust fan on the right side as well. At the bottom, you'll find down firing speakers. And we're going to be doing a speaker test in my full review. Oh, and one more thing that I actually complained about the Zephyrus G from last year was its Wi-Fi connectivity. But this year, Asus came back strong and it now has Wi-Fi 6 and hopefully a better Wi-Fi card. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick impressions on the Asus ROG Zephyrus G15 laptop for 2020. And if you have more questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to address them in my full review. Also, just a quick reminder, stay till the end of the video where I'll show who the winners are for my giveaway. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.